chilling tales for dark nights. Want to make sure you never miss a Chilling Tales for Dark Nights video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. I Found a Forum for Dead People by Richard Saxon Performed by Otis Gyrie It's a tale as old as the internet itself. You're killing your boredom by browsing the net mindlessly scrolling through pictures and reading through forums. One click leads to another, and before you know it, you've tripped and fallen down the rabbit hole to the weirder parts of the Internet. Now, I'm not all that tech-savvy, but I suppose I'm intelligent enough to understand the concept of unlisted websites, things you can't find through a Google search but that exist if you have a link provided. I guess that's the essence of the deep web. I tend to browse in incognito. I'm not going to go into details, but I think we all know for what purpose. Last night, or this morning, depend on how you classify 3 a.m. and insomnia, I was reading a form about people's weirdest experiences on the web. I am a skeptical fellow, so when a few diligent commenters provided a link I will gladly follow to verify their stories. At some point, I happened upon a website that was simply an endless string of numbers ending in .org, leading to a plainly designed forum. How was your day? was the main title of said forum. It was a welcome change from the depressing and even horrific stories others had shared thus far in the night, so I decided to check out how people were doing around the world. Maybe focusing on others' lives would take away focus from my own depressing existence. I clicked on the top entry one listed. When I first retired, I was dumbfounded by the amount of dead time I would have to tirelessly get through. Today, perhaps for the first time in ten years, I appreciated the lazy morning. My wife made my favorite breakfast, and I was even happy to take a midday nap afterwards. I guess my body was just tired, because I never woke up from that. How do I let my wife know I didn't pass in pain, and that I love her very much? Mildly confused by his last statement, I checked out the comments below. We all die sometime. Welcome. And another one said, If you treated her right, she would know you loved her already. Some sort of role-playing form? Was the first thought that came to me. The comments were a perfect collection of welcoming and spiteful comments. I clicked to the next post. Honestly, I've always expected more from life. My day was shitty enough to begin with. Arguing with teenage children is a pointless endeavor that makes me long for the time where they were just happy to have pancakes for breakfast. Anger is just as pointless as I've come to discover far too late in life. The distraction was the only thing needed to somehow make me miss a red light, and, well, I'm not exactly sure what happened next, but here I am, my final day on this shit planet. He signed his entry with his apparently real name and birth date. It was a fairly uncommon name at that. I opened another tab to check into his info in reference to any car accidents. All I found was some old news entry from 2004, but it perfectly matched his story to a T. What kind of sick person pretends to take the identity of someone who died such a horrific death? Both infuriated and intrigued, I kept on reading. I can only blame my own sense of morbid curiosity. I'm not entirely sure how long I spent reading through countless posts from people pretending to have died in various ways at different points in history. Everyone had signed with real names, and not a single commenter called them out for their deluded games. The straw that broke the camel's back was when I noticed a post by a familiar name, my own mother. 
She'd been dead for over a decade, so I felt fairly certain it was some sort of sick prank or bizarre role-play. Maybe the users were looking up obituaries and taking their identities for their own pleasure. I was even more disturbed when they perfectly described the surroundings of her death despite never having told anyone. I've been feeling extremely tired as of late. It was no surprise when I awoke this morning, and I felt like I hadn't slept in days. I just wanted to stay in bed, but family duties called. My husband had already left for work, and I'd taken the week off in hopes of recovering. But someone has to feed the kids. Breakfast was all right. I fed them their favorite pancakes. Easy to prepare, and I had nothing better to do. I remember getting into the shower, but it was getting real hard to catch my breath, and under the steam from the hot water, I simply passed out. I really don't know what happened after that. Oh, God. I hope my children didn't see me lying naked on the floor. I decided right then I would be the righteous one to make them stop stealing people's identities. At least use a fake name if it was nothing more than a pathetic joke. I scanned the page for a register button, only to find I was already logged in, under my real name as a matter of fact. With some trepidation, I clicked to expand my profile. On it, someone had written my name, email address, birth date, and death date today. Yet again, my eyes wandered to the title of the website. How was your day? I thought back and reflected on what happened so far. My life wasn't the most interesting, so I hadn't really taken the time to think about it. There was nothing particularly interesting about my day. Exam period was coming up, so I had to wake up earlier than my young brain was used to. I drank coffee, browsed the internet instead of studying. The procrastination lasted longer than I'm proud to admit. Though, I eventually felt guilty enough to pick up a textbook and studied until the evening. A mild headache set in. It was enough for me to stop studying and do something more relaxing instead. Actually, it might have been more than mild. More like a stabbing pain rapidly increasing in intensity. I got up from my chair and fell to the floor. That's all I remember before blocking out. It's a peculiar feeling when your heart stops, but apparently that's what it takes for you to be able to access the forum for dead people. They brought me back, though. I have a vague memory of paramedics bringing me to the hospital, needles being shoved into my veins. I guess my dad must have come upstairs to check on me. Lucky me. I don't really remember much from the hospital, nor returning home. As a matter of fact, I just now find myself browsing this forum, not really remembering how I stumbled across it. How was your day? Chilling Tales for Dark Nights